the Rural Grocery Summit uh, is one of the primary ways that we have been trying to build a network for rural grocery store owners and, and rural citizen leaders interested in greater food access for their, for their towns. My name is Cheryl Rickers and I represent the Community Enhancement Foundation of Plains. During the first two years we did a, a lot of research which included community meetings and meeting with uh, people such as like USDA representatives, state representatives, uh, and members of our community to assessing their needs. And also during that time, we talked to numerous grocers who were very successful in their businesses and we gathered a lot of information which we were able to bring back to our own community and formulate our own ideas to meet the needs of, of our own. So two years ago we attended the Rural Grocery Summit here and that was the turning point in our project. It, that points, the Moreland Foundation group presented their project and it provided those last pieces to the puzzle that we needed to put together to fit the needs of our own community. And from that day, it's not been a sprint to the finish line by any means. It's been a slow process, but remember, everything that's worthwhile takes time. So during this time period, what we've been able to do is acquire property to uh, establish our store and again, assess more needs of our community and try to start formulating a community garden and a farmer's market program that will be involved with the community foundation. But the found through the foundation and our access to food program, we hope to bring a much needed grocery store into our community. Yes, we've had a lot of extremely positive feedback from our community as they feel that we are really addressing the needs of our aging population. We really hope to have a wonderful aging in place project associated with the food project and also nutrition education features, um, grocery delivery, uh, shopping companion programs which we actually go get people, take them to the store, help them shop, take them home, maybe unload their groceries for them, and they don't have to be elderly to have that service. If they need it, we will provide it. That, that is our plan. Um, again, there are so many projects associated within the Access to Food project in Plains, and we're very excited to provide it. My name is Pam Budenbender. I'm the owner of Onega Country Market in Onega, Kansas. Um, the reason why I wanted to build the store in Onega is that Onega is so rural, it is 25 to 30 miles in any direction to find another grocery store. It is a good hour drive to find a big box store. Um, the community desperately needed the store after the previous store burnt to the ground. It was. Uh, big hardship on the elderly of the community having to drive that 60 miles round trip. My husband and I own a farm north of Onega and I spent my weekends there for years and years and I wasn't able to find what I wanted in the little community grocery store and I wanted to do it different. So we undertook this project um, a year and a half ago in the summer. And broke ground in July, started the building erection in September, and we opened December 1st, uh, two days short of the anniversary of the fire that took the other store. This is K-State Research and Extension.